Okay, today we are going to be making a collage using a self-portrait of yourself. We are going to be doing it in the Louis Jover style of collage. For this, you are going to need your picture. We turned ours sepia. You could do black and white or color. Totally up to you, whatever you have at home. If you are doing this at home and you do not have a photo of yourself you can use, you could use a photo from a magazine or a photo of a celebrity. Use whatever you have because you're not at school and I can't print it for you. So we're gonna start with this and then you're gonna find some materials that you can collage around it. So I have a playing card, a little picture of bees, some hydrangeas that I like, a piece of text from an old book, an old ancient building, some graph paper, some random stamped paper, anything you can use that will make interesting textures and interesting designs in the background of your picture. First step, cut out your portrait, okay? It just needs to be around the outline of yourself. Second step, you are going to decide how you want to break apart your portrait to almost like fracture your head apart. I think it's easiest if you kind of like draw it out on the back so you can kind of see where things are. But if you're feeling brave, you can just go for it. I'm kind of feeling brave today, so I think I'm just gonna go for it. I want to make sure I leave one eye intact, but I think I'm gonna cut down and over and then cut this part separate so it can be like two different pieces. And yeah, I'm just gonna roll. I like curved lines more than straight lines, so you get to choose your preference. And as you can see, I am cutting like slow and steady. I am not just like chopping things off. So there's cut one. Then I think I want to come down from my part and along this hairline. So now I have kind of like a puzzle piece of my head. The next thing I'm going to do is start laying out my collage pieces behind. Louis Jover uses a lot of circles and repetition. So we have these cool tracers that have different size circles. You could use lids, you could use the top of your glue stick, you could use whatever you want to start doing your circles. Um, however you're gonna do it, you wanna make sure you are layering your collage material. So this pattern paper is kind of cool. It will overlap and you can see like the patterns underneath it when you glue it together then maybe you want something coming out of somewhere else. Like I kind of like this flower garden out of my eye, right? So this is your chance to be super creative. Your chance to decide how much color you want, your chance to layer. But I really want you to focus on your layout before you start gluing things down. That will make it so you haven't glued something down and been like, oh my gosh. I don't like that anymore. I found this really cool thing. So lay it all out first, then slowly move it off and then glue one piece down at a time and then layer them as you go, okay? So I would glue probably most of this down and but I know I'm still gonna need to lift this up so then I could glue my little hydrangeas in my eyeball like that, okay? I'm gonna assemble my whole thing and I will show you the finished product when I'm done. Have fun.